Welcome to our Service Line Inventory Workbook training. So today we will be going over how to do the initial configuration settings for your workbook, how to validate your workbook, and then how to export your workbook as a CSV file. So to start, we have a, an example PWS with nine service lines. So we will begin by doing the initial configuration of the settings. First, just right click in any cell within the workbook, and you should come across this menu with four DEP settings for options. If you do not have these options, it's likely that the macros of these workbooks are not enabled for you. So you should go to the files properties settings, and you should unblock the macros to then see this menu. So to begin for the configuration settings, we'll, we will click DEP PWS information this pop-up will show up. Uh, so first you should put in your PWS ID number. So for our example, we put in um, a random PWS ID that does not represent any Massachusetts PWSs. And then you should read through this statement. So the statement is saying that more than 20% of the structures served by your PWS are multifamily homes. If this is true, check the box. If it is not, you can leave it blank. Uh, for our example, we're leaving this blank. So we will then click save. And then our next step would be to fill out this workbook. Uh, so in our case, we've already completed this, um, but do make sure when you are completing your workbook that you should be using the correct values, which are listed in the column definitions. And they're also listed when you right click on a cell and go to DEP inventory column options. So each column has a drop-down list of all the correct options and it will light up with whichever column you are in. So we're in column E right now, and column E is the only option. If we go to column C, only column C will show. So do make sure you use the correct values that are listed in the column definitions tab. And we can see why you should use the correct values when we are validating this. So to begin with the validation, we will again right click in any cell and go to DEP inventory validation. And then we will need to check the validation settings. So click validation settings. And then you should have two options. So highlight invalid cells. That should be clicked automatically. And we recommend you keep that on. And then output validation errors to file. So this should not be clicked automatically. And we'd recommend you do click it. What this will do is it will bring you to your file explorer and it will just ask you to click on a folder to save this as. So we've already done this and clicked this option. So we'll then click save. Okay, next we're gonna, again, click on, right click on a cell and go to DEP inventory validation. And we will go to validate inventory worksheet. So as this does this correctly, it will, the bar will load and it's 100% complete and it will show us all of our errors. So we have done a few here so you can see what they look like. As you can see, they're highlighted red. So let's go through to correct. So the first one is because we've done an invalid value, plastic is not valid. You'd want to do HDPE or PVC. So we will do HDPE for this. Okay. The next one is the service line size. So this does not include the correct inches as symbol. So we just want to make sure we correct that. This is not the correct value. So after lead band should be put in as A, L, B, the initials for that. So our next one is the service line installation T. So this is a required field. So it is an error because it is blank. So we can correct this and put in the, the correct value. And then our last one was the service line classification. But as you can see, it is now non-lead. And the reason that was an error is because this was originally plastic. So it was an invalid criteria. But now that we've corrected that, it's no longer an error. So now what we can do is right click again on a cell and go to the inventory validation again and we will validate our inventory worksheet again now that we've corrected our errors. So we run the validation, and as you can see, there's no red, so it looks like we are ready 
to export this. Um, so we do recommend you do the validation throughout this process of creating a service site inventory, just so you don't get to the end of your workbook and then validate it and realize you have many errors that you could have fixed throughout the process. So the next step is to submit this. So we can do DEP export for submission. This will give you a reminder to validate your data and press OK. And then it will just ask you where to put this. So I'll click my folder and then I will name my file and then save it. And it will tell me exactly where it was exported and what the file name is. And then here is an example of the CSV file afterwards. So as you can see, it has these three new columns, which weren't in the original workbook. And this is why we need to do this through that export for submission button. Because if you export it through the workbook, you're going to get these three columns generated. However, if you just submitted it, uh, if you just saved as a CSV instead, you wouldn't get these columns. And these are required for our validation process at MassTUP. And then as you can see, this file also has the other values that you added throughout your process. Uh, so this, this is the format that we'd accept at MassDB. This is what we are looking for for your service line inventory. And then here we have our two error sheets that we had produced from the workbook file when we clicked on the output file option. So this is the first error sheet. So as you can see, it lists the cell and then it lists the error. So for example, the invalid year or decorate, decade. This was when we did the after lead ban option and we didn't put ALB. Then the invalid value for the service line material, such as when we did plastic instead of HDPE, et cetera. So those are all listed here with the correct cell. And then here is our second file after we corrected all the errors. So just a no errors found message, which is what we're looking for. So if you have any other questions with uh, creating your service line inventory or validating it or submitting it, please reach out to us at uh, program.director-twp at mass.gov uh, with the subject line service line inventory or service line inventory validation. And we'll reach out to you as soon as we can.